everyone, it's Susan from Creating with Susan. Welcome to my craft table. Today's card is part of a blog hop with Scrap and Stamp Canada. The theme this month is bling and blossoms. I've got a card with blossoms, not a lot of bling, but I do have blossoms. So let's get started. I'm using the Painted Poppy stamp set from My Favorite Things and doing some masking. I stamped the images onto some masking paper and then when I was cutting them out, I made sure to cut on the inside of the black lines. When you've stamped your first image and then you put the mask on, the next image that you stamp will look like it's touching the black line. It will be touching the black line of the first image if you cut the mask within the black line. If you don't, then the lines, the new image that you stamp won't touch the first image. I hope that makes sense. You'll see what I mean here. So this is my first image. I just stamp it straight onto the cardstock. And then next I'll add the mask. The hardest part is peeling that thing off, but anyways, put the mask on. And now you can see the black lines outlining the mask. That's my stamped image. So now when I go to stamp the second image, the two, um, the black lines from the stamp that I'm stamping are going to touch the black lines of the first image. So they're not, there's not going to be any gap. Okay, so I'm going to continue on. I do it to the next one. And one thing I want to tell you also is there is a prize up for grabs. Um, $50 gift certificate to the Scrap and Stamp store. So head on over to my blog. Leave me a comment. And there'll be links to all the other stops on the hop. And if you leave a comment at every stop, that is going to increase your chances of winning. And also, if you're shopping this weekend and feel like pampering yourself, there's a 20% off sale happening. And all you have to do is use the promo code PAMPER when you're checking out and you'll receive 20% off. But it's just for this weekend. Okay, so have fun shopping. All right, so back to the card. I've stamped all the flowers and now I'm adding in the stamps. I sped this part up. Um, it's just basic stamping and there's no masking involved, nothing fancy. I just stamped the stems and then two branches with some leaves and that was it for that part. One thing you should take note of, if you've never done masking before, the image that you want to have in the foreground is the one you're going to stamp first. Then you put your mask on that one and then the next image that you want to see, the one that will be just behind the one in the foreground, that's the one you stamp next and then you mask that and so on until you're done. The, the one you have to remember is the one you want to see closest to you is the one you're going to stamp first. So now when it comes to coloring the image, I didn't want to color. I wanted to add color, but I didn't want to color. So I decided to flip the stamp over and just ink up the back of the block. Now I knew it wasn't going to line up perfectly and that's okay. That was kind of the look I was going for. I wanted it messy, but it was a little harder just for the fact that these aren't solid images. They're just lined images. So I didn't have a solid image to stick to my block. So I just used a bit of tape runner, put it on my block and adhered the petal part, like the inner, what's that called? Uh, I don't know, the center of the flower. I adhered that to the block and then um, inked it up, just rubbed, like just swiped it on, made it messy and then stamped it over top of the flower. Now, like I say, it doesn't line up perfectly and I'm okay with that. I think it's called abstract. I know there's a type of style to this, but I can't remember what it's called, but I was quite happy with how it turned out. Now you'll notice my masks aren't sticking that well. I'm not sure why, because I only used them once, but um, I wasn't there, there again, because it was kind of a messy look I was going for. I wasn't too worried about it. I just held it down with my hands and then stamped the next flower. For the inks, they, I used Lawn Fawn, uh, Wild Rose, Mermaid, and Carrot for the flowers. And then for the leaves, I used Celery Stick. Now, I couldn't use the back of the leaf stamp because the leaves were just, they didn't line up at all. Like they were, it was just backwards, completely backwards. So I just swiped it like you see here. This is when I decided to change it up from a one layer card to something different because those stems, they were driving me crazy. I, I didn't like how I stamped them. So 
I needed to do something different just to change it. So I used the Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle dies. There's a small set and I used the largest one from there and the second largest one to cut those two pieces there that you see. The outer frame piece there, I adhered that directly to the card base. And then I decided to change my mind about the sentiment. I had originally picked a different one that was going to be on the bottom of the one layer card or on the side and decided because I didn't like the stems that I was stamping something different and going to cover it up, cover up the stems with it. Um, yeah, it's, this is one of my favorite ways to do a uh, sentiment is white embossing on black cardstock. It just, it always just pops and it's a great way to hide things too. Just so you know. After I heat set the embossing powder, I grabbed a microfiber cloth just to clean up the cardstock before I cut it. And the panel, the center panel, I adhered that to my card base with craft foam. I tend to use craft foam and not craft uh, foam, sorry, not foam tape, because I like a solid piece under anything that I'm raising up on my card. And then uh, the sentiment, I decided not to put on perfectly straight. I made them uneven just because it fit with the style of the card that I was doing. Now for the bling portion, I added a few sequins. Um, I just chose a few from my stash that matched the colors of the flowers and popped a few on there and that was that. So I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, it's It's been fun and pop on over to my blog and leave me a comment for a chance to win that $50 gift card. I'll leave you a link below. And thanks very much again, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.